Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So if you're like me, then you probably have a bunch of plugins on your studio computer, and that can be like really cluttering up your browser and be almost intimidating when trying to create new music. But did you know that in Studio One, you can create your own custom plugin folders inside of the browser to tidy everything up a little bit and only see the plugins that you really need at any given point. If you didn't know, then pay attention. We dive right in. So you open the browser in Studio One. If you click here at the bottom right of a song, right? And uh, here I currently have the Instruments tab open. And um, I have quite a few instruments here. Most of them are coming with Studio One already or Lead Architect, which is already included in Studio One Plus memberships. But I also have a third party instrument here, which is the Oberhausen from Brainworks. Uh, it's kind of funny that they uh, named a plugin after the city next to my hometown. And uh, when we go to the effects plugins, there's even more. And uh, I'm sure you can relate to this if you produce music. Often you see like hundreds or if not thousands of plugins there. Now, if you want to hide them in a bunch, I've already done a tutorial on the plugin manager, which you find here on the homepage of the browser. If you're looking for a way to get rid of hundreds of plugins that you're not really using, then definitely make sure to check out that tutorial. But today I specifically want to talk about these plugin folders that really bring a lot of order and structure back into your workflow. So in order to use these, you first of all have to set the sort order that you see up here in the browser to folder. Okay, by default, it's going to be on flat, but we want to have folder because as soon as you have folder selected, you can actually right click here and create a new folder. This is what we want to do in this case. And for my instrument specifically, I like to separate them between synthesizers and samplers. That's kind of the distinction that I like to make making electronic music. I don't have many other virtual instruments that I use, but of course you could also do uh, a folder for all of your orchestral instruments. Uh, for instance, and things like that. But in my case, I'm just going to go with synth and samplers. So my first folder is just going to be called synth for synthesizers, obviously. And um, the next folder, again, just right click here on the browser and click new folder is going to be for samplers. And uh, all I need to do in order to structure my plugins in these folders is to just make my selection. So for example, sample one and impact would be my samplers and move them with a simple drag and drop motion into this folder. Okay. And now as soon as I expand the samplers folder, you can see that right here. Notice how I could see the impact and the sample one and all of the other instruments I would consider to be synthesizers in the classic sense. And those I can just move again into this folder. And now I have everything tidied up. As you could see, I had just have a samplers and a synth folder, which just brings a whole lot of structure into my plugin list. The same thing I could do for effects. So if I go over to my effects browser right here, you'll notice that I have many, many plugins here. Some are native to Studio One, but also some third party like uh, the Mark EQ4 and EQ2. But whenever I'm mixing, I find that I'm mainly looking for an equalizer. So I just want to see all of the equalizers that I currently have available on my system. And so a folder that's labeled equalizers or EQs would be really handy. So let's do just that with the exact same procedure. I just right click anywhere. It doesn't really matter where, as long as it's in that browser window. And then I click on new folder and this folder I'm going to call EQs like so. And it's uh, appearing at the very top here. And all I need to do is move the equalizers that I want. It's probably best to just quickly engage the thumbnail view here so I can see them more easily. Yeah, that would be the Mac EQ here and the EQ4 and also the Pro EQ. Again, with a simple drag and drop motion, I can simply move these into my new folder now, like so. And now I only see these plugins whenever I'm actually mixing and in need of an equalizer. If I'm not looking for an EQ, I can just collapse this folder and these irrelevant plugins are temporarily out of view. So hopefully this is going to be a useful workflow for you. And if you have a bunch of plugins on your system and a lot of chaos in your browser, then maybe this can tidy things up a little bit. Thank you for watching.